Here's a quick video on the Bobcat hoe made by Bobcat. This is how to change it over to a 14 pin control. This will be fast because it is very easy. What we did was we removed the controller out of here and we replaced it with one of our BPH 14 6 harnesses. You'll see there's two solenoids here. The top one controls left, bottom one controls right. Over on the side here you'll see another one. This controls bucket close and there's another one over here that controls bucket open. If you look at bucket open, we've connected the red wire. Bucket close, we've connected the white wire. Left, we've connected the green wire. And right, we've connected the yellow wire. There's two spare wires on this harness. This is reserved for the thumb, if we happen to get the thumb installed on this unit. In this case, it's not installed. And all we do is tie wrap these, this wire up inside here. Again, we've removed the controller. We don't need that, just get it out of the way. It's just a waste of time and money. We've made sure our hoses are connected properly. If you look right here, there's a P that's for pressure. And up here, there's a T. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there's a T on this one. Make sure that the P, your pressure one, is coming from your female coupler on your attachment. Make sure that on the attachment, on this attachment, you've got the female coupler and the return of the tank has got your male coupler. And that's it, connect it. Uh, you're gonna turn your hydraulics on and lock them on in the forward direction. And then you're going to operate each one of these functions with an electrical button. So in, in most controls you've got a, on your stick, you've got a couple of buttons on the left and a couple of buttons on the right. That's how you're gonna control this. And that's it, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's quick, it's easy, and enjoy. I'm Rob from Skid Steer Genius. Here's a special note if you have a Caterpillar C Series or prior, or a Terex, or an ASV. You're only gonna have four possible connections because there are only four buttons inside the machine. So you will use our, our uh, BPH8-4-9 DP or DT. Um, and you will not be able to use the thumb if your attachment has a thumb. There simply are not enough buttons in the cab of that machine. If you have a Caterpillar D series, you're gonna use the 14 pin, which is the one that we've got here. Uh, the problem is, is if you have the thumb, you're gonna have these two extra connectors here. The problem is you're gonna have to reach up in your cab to hit the buttons to open and close the thumb. That is a real hassle. I would suggest everybody with Caterpillars, you complain to Caterpillar because they should have the two buttons down on the handles by now like everybody else does. That is a real problem. Uh, we at Skid Steer Genius are also working on a little workaround button pack that we're gonna be able to add to your controls. But for now, you're kind of stuck. So just be aware of that.